That's the Stardusters. What great music. That's uh, Mark Stolte and the Stardusters. And they're going to be playing at the uh, Fresno Dixieland Society's uh, Christmas Ball coming up here. And speaking of Dixieland Society, they're here. Mark Stolte is here, too, from Stardust. Uh, Joanne Burton, tell us about what's going on. What did we just hear? And well, how's that, that significant? Well, the Stardusters, and you're going to hear all about it. But first, you know, I want to introduce our queen. Nice. You know, we bring New Orleans to Fresno, mm-hmm. and we have a king and queen tradition. And so this is Miss Stephanie. Okay. And and uh, she's going to introduce Mark, and he's going to tell all about his gigs and about our Christmas dance and what's coming up with the Fresno Dixieland. Stephanie's the queen. She Her is queen. the queen of 2018. We're honored. Thank We're you. Honored thank you. And I am honored as well. And I will be queen until we crown a new queen and king. <laughs> at our Mardi Gras event coming up 7th, 8th, and 9th, and 10th of February. And so Mark will also be playing at that venue, but we want to talk this time about our dance coming up on December 9th. The Christmas Ball. The Christmas Mm -hmm. Ball at the American Legion 509. Uh, which is at 3509 North 1st Street. By the way, I'm glad you're having it December 9th. You get too much closer to Christmas and people are all mixed up with things to do, so this is a perfect date. But Dixieland supports local artists and local bands, and uh, Mark is one of those bands, and uh, he doesn't play traditional jazz, Dixieland music. He plays big band music, Mm -hmm. which you heard at the beginning. So I'm going to let him tell a little bit about himself because we want to keep the traditions of music alive here in the Valley, and we support also up-and-coming musicians as well. Okay, Mark, take it away. Oh, thank you, Steph. Uh, the Stardusters is uh, a second-generation band uh, picked up from my uncle who had the uh, Stardusters in the late 40s. Mm. And uh, we've sort of picked up the baton and, and carried on, and we've morphed into, uh, well, we're a, an extension band now, and we can play as a duo or a, a small combo, five, seven, ten-piece combo, all the way up to a large big band for whatever the event might be. And uh, we're dedicated uh, to the music of the 40s. 
the 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 uh, big band era. I just think it was just the greatest uh, uh, bunch of years that it, uh, and the greatest music that came down. And so uh, Dixieland Society has invited us to uh, play for them. So we're going to do that, and we're going to kind of lean a little bit to the uh, Dixieland side. But we'll still be doing some of the uh, uh, the big band tunes, and we're really looking forward to it. It's a real privilege, and we really appreciate you asking us, inviting us to play for that. In the tradition of the Dixieland Society, supporting local musicians, where else are you playing? You got uh, some other things coming up? Well, we will be this Friday at the uh, Patio Cafe at Fig Garden oh, yeah. from uh, 6 to uh, 8, and that'll be the duo. Okay. Myself and, and uh, Josh Emmerich will be on saxophone with us. That'll be nice. Yeah. We heard the trumpet and the sax on the on the recording. That was so beautiful, the trumpet. Now, um, I'm go, I keep interrupting. Go ahead. Oh no, uh, actually, Mark has going to have ten pieces oh, yeah. at this uh, event that we're having on December 9th, Again, starting at one o'clock, and there is also a dance lesson that is included with that. It's ten dollars for members. Get there early for the dance lesson. Yes, right? I'm going to get there early because I'm not much of a dancer. And it's ten dollars okay. for members and fifteen dollars for non-members. But you know, you're talking about a ten-piece big mm -hmm. band, uh, great vocals as well, mm -hmm. and again, supporting local artists and raising money to send local children yeah, we or teenagers talk about you guys band. supporting local artists and you do something for the uh, students and what is that we do we send uh, we sent six uh, high school uh, music interest persons to uh, I'm sorry I'm not saying that right but you know people who are interested in continuing the music to camp mm -hmm. things that they can afford it says $750 a piece oh to goodness. go and you know there are a lot of children who have a musical interest and we try to support them okay. so um, it's really great, and we do that, and we do that for several reasons. One, we want to keep awareness of music and Dixieland and all kinds of music, and we want to keep the music alive, and we want people to have a great time and enjoy themselves too, knowing it's going for a good cause. But uh, we are really looking forward to having Mark Stolte and the Stardusters. They also have a website, stardusters.net, mm -hmm. and you can see where they are playing around town because they play for a variety of different venues as right. well as ours and right. they will also be playing at our Mardi Gras oh in uh, February in February, February. yes uh, they will be playing on the Sunday mm -hmm. and uh, three different sets on that and so we will get that out right. again too so if you have not gone to the Mardi Gras with Fresno Dixieland Society it's the event of the year for I mean one of the best people say there's nothing to do in Fresno well uh, <laughs> this is a big one it's a couple days right it's, it's four, four days, days. Four oh days. yes yeah. Thursday through Sunday yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, but the next event is the, the Christmas Ball on December 8th. And, no, December 9th. Uh, December 9th, okay. <laughs> and the, um, the uh, dance lesson before, people from the Dixieland Society know how to really dance. Most, a lot of my generation, we never really learned how. But this is a good chance to get out and get a couple tips. It is. And the thing is, is you don't have to dance to come to a dance. I mean, a lot of people come just to listen to the music because the music is yeah. fabulous. Live music, four hours of live music at this, you know, dance floor to dance you know you can't get and you're watching great musicians now the 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 dance starts at what time and the lesson is an hour before that the lesson actually starts at 12 30 okay and the dance starts at one so about a half hour before just get there right. early 12 12 15 12 30 the lessons will start get a couple lessons that is correct it's so much fun i mean the music want, makes you want to move it does oh, make yeah. you want to move. Yeah. It's very hard uh, not to want to dance. But, again, you don't have to dance to come. And everybody is welcome. All ages are welcome. That's one thing I want to say. And certainly at our Mardi Gras event, uh, we have all kinds of different day passes. And children under 18 are free, uh, okay. 19 to 30. It's $30 for a three-day pass. Three day, wow, That's amazing. Thing. That's yeah. three full days of music. And so, and then it goes from there. And before December 16th, you can get the three-day pass for uh, $125. And after that, it goes up to $135. And a lot of people, you know, they want to know what to do for Christmas or, and everything. They're, they're doing experiences. Yeah. This would be a great thing. Right. Our dance on Sunday would be a great Christmas mm -hmm. gift for mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. to come. Uh, our Mardi Gras would be a great Christmas gift as well because it's an experience and people are looking for something different these days. Very nice. And definitely, Mark and his band are just wonderful. It's going to make They're the just ball. Just wonderful. Absolutely. Ten pieces. I love the bigger Ten band, pieces. the better. Yeah. Now, if somebody's interested in the, the ball for uh, December 9th, where should they start? Is there a website to buy tickets, or where do they get tickets? Uh, you can get tickets at the door okay. at, at 3509 North 1st Street at the American Legion 509 when you come. Again, $10 for members and $15 for non-members. Or you can go to www.fresnodixie.com. 
FresnerDixie.com. Yes, okay. and it's on our flyer, and on, you know, and you can go to the website, and you can find all the information about our dance and our Mardi Gras that's coming up. And if you want to follow Mark and his big band, you can also go to Stardusters.net. Very good. Now, can you get tickets in advance for this ball? Or they we all? always have tickets available. You have tickets mm -hmm. available. What I'm worried is, first, it could sell out. Could second. Second, yeah, yeah, give yeah. me a phone number. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I'm mm -hmm. going to encourage you to get tickets in advance because you change your mind if you don't. Yeah, it's, sometimes that's, that's true. true. That's yeah. true. You can also contact John <laughs> at 559-779-2484. That's John Crawford, and he can also tell you where to get tickets and uh, for any other questions you have about the dance. Now, we have a couple extra minutes, and I just wanted to ask Mark Stolte. I'm a, I love Fresno music history. And you said your uncle had the band, or? Right, right. He had it in the 40s, mm -hmm. uh, late 40s into the early 50s. And uh, it, it was called the Stardusters. And the Stardusters is not really an original name. There's a million Starduster yeah, bands yeah. out there. Yeah. <laughs> but this one uh, was uh, Uncle Stardusters. And, uh, and about 12 years ago, I was looking for another direction to go with music. And uh, Uncle and I talked about it. And we, th we thought, let's go with the Stardusters again. Mm -hmm. I'll find some great musicians, which I believe I have, I have some of the best in, in the valley playing with us. And uh, we built the Stardusters, and uh, we've just been having a ball for the last uh, 12 years. And do, was there any places you know that the Stardusters played in Fresno back in the day? Uh, well, no, this was back in, in the Midwest. Oh, My in the Midwest. Had it okay. back in the Midwest, okay. right. And, uh, uh, but uh, the Stardusters out here on the West Coast mm -hmm. has played a number of places around in the valley. and. Uh, you know, I, the Big Band Dance Society, they have a dance the first Sunday of every month, mm -hmm. four hours of live big band music, live musicians, big dance floor, and we, and we uh, are fortunate to play a few dances with them through the year, uh, three or four. And we're setting up the new ones, I think, this year. And, uh, and then the Dixieland Society has invited us, and, and this is our second uh, dance with the Dixieland yes, Society. Is. And uh, we're really looking forward to that. We play at the Patio Cafe. We've been uh, down at the uh, Grand. We've been at the Radisson. Uh, um, well, now it's the uh, uh, Doubletree. Right. Yeah. But uh, various, uh, you know, when you have a big band, uh, venues are pretty much limited. It's yeah. kind of tough to book a 10 or a 15 piece big band. It takes a special so. event like uh, December 9th, the Dixieland Society is putting on the ball. It takes a special right, event exactly. to bring in a big band and a lot of organization to go into it. So yeah. uh, we're going to leave it at that. Go to FresnoDixie.com. Go to uh, 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 Stardusters.net. And, and we're available for the backyard soiree, mm -hmm. the anniversary, you could go big band, party, you could go smaller or go big small. band, a couple we, people. We can make it work for whatever it is your event is. And your birthday party. Yeah. Yeah, we we had a great keep, time. We just want to oh, keep yeah. the music alive. <laughs> Tell you what, if you have any questions on any of these organizations or any of these bands or where to get tickets and you didn't write down the information, call us here at Central Valley Talk. We'll put you in direct touch with them. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Central Valley Talk. Stairway to the star with love.